Hey. who is kind enough to volunteer his organs to me. He is a, so lovely. He was just wonderful. And he has done my hair up right. He does this wonderful bouffant. Mm, it's wonderful. Paige, can you tell me about what made you want to donate your kidney to Vivian? Sure. And what was your name? <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> yes, Nikki. I can definitely tell you why I wanted to donate the kidney. I was working in the salon a couple weeks ago, making a few final trims on some hair. And um, a customer walked in, and she was talking about how in the past she had a, some reaction to antibiotics, I think, and um, how she needed the tr transplant. Yeah. And I feel like from up above, I've had a calling that I could donate a kidney to help someone live a full and healthy life. Yeah. So paying it forward kind of thing. Yes. Um, can you tell me about the events in your life that led up to you needing a kidney transplant? I was dugging in my front street about a year ago, and I, I guess the ice cream truck was about 15 minutes early today, at that day, and uh, it just hit me right on my face. And the doctor said I had so much muscle damage that it sent me into what they called rab, rabdo, rabdo something or other. And anyways. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, she is my sister, and I love her, and uh, that's something a brother should do. Uh, she's my bingo partner. Got to have somebody to play bingo with. And uh, truth be told, she owes me a bunch of money, so uh, got to keep her alive somehow. measuring your pressure and it's just fine. Oh good. Good. And we check, we're checking your labs every four to six hours and uh, your potassium and your calcium and your magnesium are all wonderful. Well, I'm glad to hear Usually you might have like lower levels of those. So we're keeping an eye on it and it's looking great. Um, let's see, what else? For your urine output, we've been monitoring that every 30 minutes, as you may see us oh, coming in and out. Awful. I know it. But you, are, oh, it is, you're, oh, wonderful. Good. So, thank you. Uh, you think you're just, you're, you think you're on your way to recovery. Yay! Oh, hello. Hello. Today. I'm feeling much better. Well, I'm Dr. B. I did your surgery. Oh, well, I was and you know what? Most of it. You were. You said some funny things too. <laughs> anyway. 
anyway, well, um, looks like you're you're on the way out the door. Like maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Excellent. Does that sound okay? What medic? Am I gonna be on medication? Yeah, we'll send you on some medications. The nurse will be doing some patient teaching over um, some immunosuppressants you should probably be taking still after you get home, and we'll do some follow-up appointments and stuff like that. But you got great urine output, and your um, labs are turning up great. So we just want to get you home and out of our hands, you know? That is excellent. News. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, you feel free to ask your nurse. I will. Okay. All right, well, we'll see you later. Help me. I'm just so happy that you're going to be okay. If that kidney's in there somewhere. Is it okay? And your hair just looks so beautiful. They didn't even mess it up. Thank you so much. Hi, Cheyenne. We got your lab results back, and um, your hemoglobin is low, so we're going to have to transfuse two units of blood to get it up. It's at a seven, and we want it to be higher. And you lost a lot of blood during surgery. That's why you're going to have to get this transfusion. Um, and you also have a temperature which we're concerned about. We're going to monitor your wet blood cell count and go ahead and do a sputum, blood, and urine culture to see if you have an infection or anything. Hi, I'm your doctor, Dr. K. Um, I was just going to let you know we got your biopsy results back. Um, it did show that your kidney is in acute cellular rejection. Um, so what we're going to do is up her dose of IV antibodies. So see that that gets done. All right. You have to get better. Okay? You need to be able to dug you again. And besides, you still owe me $5,000. Sure. It's okay. Sure. I know. You'll be up there. Just, just go. Death 2100. Unfortunately, she, 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 she did not make it last night, but we'll always remember her for her Dougie. <laughs>